the 12 rules to live by on testosterone. Big featured series we have here. We're starting off with number 12. Down at the bottom, every week it gets better and better, and you'll see me go into more important medical information up to number one. This is number 12, additional pets. So men use testosterone, and many men, not even professional steroid users or bodybuilders, they use additional performance enhancing drugs. This video, I'm laying it out for you. In my experience with thousands of men that have come to me and trusted me on testosterone and of course other steroids for many years, most of these men add very basic agents. Here are the most common ones and all the details medically about that. And tips, of course, from my perspective with all these men that have trusted me that I've seen with the medical issues that can happen. Number one drug, in my opinion, that's added to testosterone is Anavar, right? Anavar, test in Anavar. And again, these are just regular guys. These are just guys that just want to go to the gym and just feel better. You guys, regular guys, not, this is not pro bodybuilders. This is not powerlifters and strong men or any professional athlete. These are regular people. Anavar is an oral pill. It's a dihydrotestosterone derived drug. It's used by women even. It's known to be quite safe and, and, and sustainable. It's an oral drug though, so you gotta be careful with that on the liver enzymes and even taking it too long, it's gonna have effects. So number one is Anavar. Next, number two, and I'm gonna wrap up in the end, we're gonna talk about all the sundry information just as I see unified and call out some special drugs in addition to testosterone. Number two is Decadurabulin. Test and DECA, it just rolls off the tongue. Nor 19 based drug, it's an injectable drug. It's used commonly by men who have arthritis or they, their shoulder hurts or the elbow, maybe even the back, and they just wanna throw on, in addition to testosterone, some Decadurabulin. Number three, Masteron. Hey guys, quick pause here. If you're watching this video, odds are you're concerned about your testosterone levels. That's where the sponsor of this video comes in. Let'sGetChecked.com. Let's Get Checked makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without having to visit a healthcare provider. Choose your test online, like one of their testosterone panels, and it will be delivered to you in discreet packaging with next day delivery. Once your sample arrives in a laboratory, Confidential results will be available from your secure online account within two to five days. See my link in the description for more details and discount code. Number three, Masteron, right? Injectable drug, Masteron. It's a DHT derived drug. It's interesting that a lot of these are the DHT derived drugs. This is an amazing drug with anti-estrogenic effects. We also see Proviron, which is an oral drug, another DHT-derived drug, thought to be acting as an anti-estrogen. And also, as I've done videos on this, it helps increase the free fraction, if you will, of testosterone, the free state, that goes into the CNS, the central nervous system. And also, it lifts up the free state its effects working directly on the sexual and binding globulin and other carrying globulins. Amazing, amazing physiology with Masteron and Proviron. Next, Equipoise, testosterone and Equipoise, test EQ. Again, a lot of this stuff you'll see bodybuilders and mass monsters from 50 years now been using these things, but a lot of regular people Use equipoise. Again, we're going to talk about in the end all the medical consequences. Number five, adding just more testosterone to testosterone. You're on TRT, your doctor gives you TRT, probably small injections of 
If you're in Europe, Sustanon, little small 0 0.3, 0 0.5 every week or so. I hope you don't take it every two weeks because it goes up and down too much. And that's where we're here to educate your doctor not to do that. Take those little small micro injections, really. Watch things closely. Next, so you're gonna add testosterone. Which type? What kind of other esters? Little bit of pro, little bit of enanthate on top of sip, or vice versa, right? Or a Sustanon 250. And there are other blends. I mean, things are incredible now. There's a lot of other blends. Let's go, guys. Give the comments. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you've done. All these men here are going to learn from this. That's number five. Number six would be naturally the addition of other stronger PEDs. So stronger steroids. That's going to be guys on test running Tren, a little baby doses of Tren, or little pieces of D-Ball or Anadrol. Again, you're, no one is ever going to say that that's common compared to running test in Anavar. DECA, Masteron, so, but it's used. I have some of the most brilliant and, and, and successful financially men in the world that run trend baby doses with testosterone. It's not right, it's, is it wrong, is it right? They do it because they love the sex. They love the feeling and the focus, but things can get, Ill. there'll be consequences. Next, number seven. In addition to testosterone, growth hormones. So how many clinics and how many places are giving tests in little small doses, anti-aging doses of growth hormone? We'll talk about this all in the end. And IGF, I still wonder, can you really afford IGF? Can you get IGF? Does it come out of just the Middle East? I have questions on that. Real IGF. And how expensive is this stuff? And what are the consequences? These are all the questions. That's why this is number 12 right here. I'm just lumping all these things in for you guys. These are pets on top of testosterone, rule number 12. Number eight, adding cutting drugs, thyroid preparations. This is very common with the anti-aging places. Even though your thyroid's fine, they're giving you thyroid preparations. Cytomel, Synthroid, Levothyroxine, Armor Thyroid. Additionally, what else do guys take? This is the cutting drugs, right? Kind of the cutting drugs. Guys will do testosterone. These are regular people. Little clenbuterol, little clenbuterol, beta adrenergic agonistic drug, right? Adderil, Ritalin, Modafinil. This is incredible. Guys tell me this, thousands of guys using tests and using some of these other drugs, cutting drugs, and these are central nervous system drugs. These are thinking drugs. But remember, guys, there's going to be effects on sleep anxiety. There's always going to be effects. Okay, so those are the drugs. Those are really those, those eight compartment drugs, secondary drugs on top of testosterone that I see additionally. Got to get the comments out. What else? So the issues come down to primarily it's going to be tolerability, you know, because the dangerous medical stuff we're going to cover here really is kind of something that men, they don't look at that right off the bat. You know, they, hey, check my labs, doc, or do this and do that, but I feel great, I feel okay. But when you don't feel good, tolerability, I could tell you with Anovar, how many guys have added Anovar, and it's a DHT-derived drug, and the sex drive is outrageous on top of testosterone because you're stimulating that limbic brain, so you feel outrageous, and then it comes crashing down. You Maybe you have premature ejaculation or the opposite. You can't ejaculate, you can't reach that climax, you get desensitized. This is this happens from Anavar, that DHT drive on top of testosterone. This is all exogenous medications that are in the brain. It takes time. So then th there's really sexual issues. Next, the tolerability of acne. It's serious, guys. It's very real. I'm very fortunate that I never get a pimple. Some of those pro bodybuilders, not one pimple. It's just great genetics. Guys take testosterone, little baby dose, they get break out with cystic acne, and they need Accutane. This is really interesting, Accutane. Next, hair loss, I don't wanna lose my hair. I'm on testosterone for 30 years. My hair is thinning out. What am I gonna do about it? What are you doing about it? Does it bother you? So acne, hair loss, you adding these other drugs, Guys will talk into the blue in the face about, Doc, it's DHT derived, it's got DHT, we can block DHT, really? You're gonna run finasteride and dutasteride chronically? How's your sex drive? What is gonna happen to your prostate? 
Guys, complicated stuff. Gynecomastia. Next, you add the drugs, you got gynecomastia. Despite using the bro science, you got gynecomastia. Now you got to run more drugs. So a drug for a drug for a drug, right? That's kind of, that's really rule number 12 is be careful with these classic added pets. Okay, fatigue, tolerability. Guys will do it, amazing in the beginning, tons of energy, then the fatigue hits in, what's going on? That's for the medical stuff. You have fatigue because maybe your blood pressure's up, the red blood cells, cardiac disease, androgen-induced erythrocytosis. Guys, this is where the red blood cells are going up. You talk about classic testosterone by itself, you add DECA, you add equipoise. This is what, and so many men know this, and just indiscriminately phlebotomizing yourself, it's, it's not the way to go. I'm here to help you guys with the Anabolic Doc app and everything else we're coming out with. I'm here to be your doctor across the world with medical information for all you men because you trust me and I, I, it's so close to my heart I can't tell you. So the androgen-induced erythrocytosis, the tolerability, the cardiac, what can you do? What are my closing recommendations? I want to see some great uh, comments here from you guys. What do you add? What are the pads do you? Did I miss some pads? I really thought about this. You know, this is what I see. Did I miss some stuff? I left out insulin. I left out insulin. So thank you for that. So what do you do? Well, don't do it. Guys, I'm not being a wise guy. So just live on testosterone. You're going to take the pads. You're going to come off. You're going to get pro side effects. What can happen? If you do do it, guys, be careful. Training days only. Very careful. Minimal. Watch everything. You're going to watch the rest of the series. You're going to learn how to take care of yourself. The, clo the, the close monitoring, your vital signs, your heart rate, your blood pressure, you've got to do it yourself. You've got to understand the calcium score and the plaque in the artery. You've got to get an echocardiogram, left ventricular. You've got to treat that blood pressure appropriately with medications. I'm here to help you. Gonna, all this information is coming at you. It's never going to stop. And then, of course, you look at the CBC and your iron studies. Everyone... They don't look at, they don't understand the hematological side with the CBC and the hemoglobin, understanding the integration with the iron studies. I'm telling you, you can see these videos, it's really the albatross on the neck of what I'm looking at from the world with on androgens. Comprehensive metabolic, of course, and the prostate, and the symptoms of the prostate can be terrible when you get older on testosterone. You add these drugs from BPH. I have young men that have had to get bored out. You know, they have, we have all these different procedures because they have ex extensive uh, uh, swelling of the prostate, BPH. And of course, I have to differentiate it from prostate cancer. If you have prostate cancer, say you're in your 50s and you're, start, you're starting this stuff, which a lot of men are now, the whole world is open. Then if you had prostate cancer and you're adding androgens, it is a, the potential for growing the, the malignancy. I want to see, again, all the comments and I want this to help as many men in the world as possible. Thank you so much.